All the turtles are doing pretty well. They, they came to us uh, and they weren't ready to be free swimming in the water. They were still pretty weak and dehydrated. Um, now everybody's looking good. They're actually all in the water and swimming right now. Um, a few of them still need uh, some critical care. Uh, a few look uh, a little better than others. We've offered them all food and all the turtles we have have eaten a little bit of food. These guys are green sea turtles, so they not only eat the fish and crabs uh, and things like that, that that other sea turtles we know about eat, but these guys at this size start to transition to more of a herbivorous diet. So they start to eat algae and seaweed and things like that in, in the ocean. And so we want to make sure and make that a, a good part of their diet while they're here with us. These turtles look really good right now and, and we're really happy with where they are in their treatment and recovery. But the next few days are going to be critical to make sure that these guys stay on you know, that plane of improvement. Make sure everyone is eating and eating uh, appropriately and eating enough that they gain their energy back and start to heal. We do have uh, one of our turtles, looks like it uh, ran into maybe some fishing line or, or net. It's got some lesions that, that don't look necessarily associated with this cold stunning event. But have caused some pretty serious problems around its, uh, the, the neck of this turtle um, and around the front limbs and so we're, we're managing that as well. Uh, but everybody's looking good and, and we hope to get them all uh, back and healthy and hopefully return to the ocean soon.